Global integration has become familiar to most Vietnamese people. Economic integration, according to the popular concept, is that economies link together. In, from 2018, tariffs on many products will decrease to zero. Mill is influenced by this policy. Imported mill sector is also affected by several agreements. Therefore, tariff will drop to zero in 2020. According to Nielsen Vietnam, liquid mill is mainly occupied by domestic enterprises. Meanwhile, powder mill is dominated by foreign companies. Vietnam imports mill from 13 countries around the world. The dairy industry in Vietnam depends on imported raw materials. Opening market will not only create many opportunities for the Vietnam dairy market, but open challenges as well. Referring to integration, people really care about the ability to compete between local and foreign farms. What will happen if the economy is full of foreign companies and an economy that depends heavily on other countries is unsustainable and will not bring the strong position for that country. Therefore, local farms are very important to the economy. However, competitive ability of local farms is weak. It is considered as the biggest challenge of opening up the market. If local farms do not prepare carefully, banks see the solution of being taken over will be the future of them. Tribeco is a typical instance. The same matter may happen to Vietnamese dairy market in the future. Not discuss the quality raw milk price in Vietnam is still higher than that in other world. Recent dairy costs is becoming a way to escape poverty of many farmers. The scale of dairy farming is still small and separate. When opening up, both big companies and farmers will face many difficulties. In 2014, imported milk is up to $1,098 billion. Seventy products on the market is from reconstituted milk, but they are more expensive than fresh milk. Moreover, opening a dairy market makes a flow of goods beyond the control of the management agency. Human history has proven the competitions has always been the momentum for the development. Businesses which do not develop will be left behind. With opportunities following integrations, joining several agreements will bring Vietnam more than 6 million jobs in the future. Opportunities for high quality labor recruitment will increase. Domestic enterprises will focus on investment to secure their position. In order not to lose in this race, innovation and development are crucial. Obviously, our dairy products are becoming better. We can hope for brighter futures when we introduce many Vietnam products to foreign consumers. Materials will become abundant. It may have positive impacts on the meal market. Firstly, the shortage of raw material will be solved. Secondly, local firms could easily buy materials with cheaper costs. Therefore, the reduction of tariffs is essential in the moment. Thirdly, cutting off tariffs will give a chance for our products to decrease the price to international milk price. Opening market for imported products will encourage Vietnam to be better. Vietnam government must have a fresh perspective on leadership, controlling economy and solving social problems. Our country should build a strong, adequate and consistent legal system. We need to build a real, legitimate regime. The management and administration are primarily based on legal and policy. Opening the dairy creates a virus competition. This may become a big challenge for dairy businesses. To turn this challenge into an opportunity, we should have strategies to win in this top race. Firstly, we should have a strategy to build high new milk processing plants in important areas such as Hanoi, Tung City, Mok Chau, and so on. In 2013, the two giants, Vietnamese and Multi Food, have launched the similar project to increase productivity. Instead of focusing on Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi, which are saturated, local companies should consider developing in high potential rural areas. Local mill enterprises should participate in product introduction programs to create a positive image. A very striking example is the program School Milk, which has been proven in many countries. To gain competitive advantage, the milk sector should be invested to develop input sources. We must build a close process to improve the quality and make use of the material source. Domestic enterprises should make use of mountainous areas having low temperatures. 
My team has some recommendations such as Tóc Tiên, Mountain of Bà Rịa Vũng Tàu, Province, Lạc Lạc of Lâm Đồng Province, or Bavi Mountain, Mộc Châu, and so on. Businesses need a cleaner process with the modern waste treatment system. Enterprises should pay more attention on importing generative sources and hybrid technology. We need to develop a connection between enterprises and farmer. If we succeed in this model, both can take advantage of it. To protect consumer and build the trust of them, we should issue a strict level framework with clear regulations, restrict smuggled products, inspect reconstituted liquid milk production costs, publicize the quality of imported product. To control the price, we should produce documents stating the price of products more often, build cooperation between management agencies, check the price of imported milk regularly. When a market with a competitive ability would be applied to our country, the worst scenario of the dairy sector may be that Vietnamese become worker for foreign farms, more trans acquisition of many brands in the past, such as Chibi as our valuable lesson for us to look back and be alert. Open market is still a great motivation that helps Vietnam to become stronger. Moreover, this is a trend of the world that let people take a new step. Therefore, my group still support the idea of opening a new market with the hope that market Vietnamese dairy products will have a chance to appear in every prison in the world.